Hey guys, this is Chappy Dracos, and welcome back, or sorry, Shiny Zekrom, and welcome back to another PMU video. In this episode, we are going to be covering Deserted Tombs. The way to get to this dungeon is, basically you follow the same path to get to Rustic Savannah, except, right here, you take this little turn and take these stairs, and a little shortcut you can take is across this water, and head on into here. This is your Deserted Chamber. This is where the entrance to our dungeon is. There is an assembly and a storage here if you do need it at all for any reason. But other than that, let's head on in. So, in Deserted Tombs, another good reason or thing to bring would be this Cloud 9 because you are going to be encountering Sandstorm a lot. But yeah, other than that, um, right off the bat, okay, as you see Trap and Cheer, it is not recruitable, so don't think you'll automatically be able to skip that. The nose pass down there is not recruitable either, so before you get any um, guesses, no, neither one of those are recruitable. But, starting right off the bat, starting on 1F, you can find eggs. Now, what is in these eggs are the following. Oh, and there's one right now. Let's just take it for the heck of it. But, in these eggs, at least in the first 20 floors, because there will be one slight change in the higher floors, is you can find Sandshrew, Nidoran female and male, Aeron, Bronzor, and Mawile. Again, this is only for the first 20 floors. This is not um, the higher floors, which we will get to at one point. Now, this dungeon is going to be um, 1 through 20F, and we're going to have a mid-boss of sorts. Then, oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oops. Um, yeah, it's a bit laggy right now. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah. So after the mini-boss, there's going to be, like, one map that I can't remember if it has a storage or not off the top of my head. But, yeah, there will be that map, and then we have our, um, yeah. And then we will go on to the deep part, which is 21 through 44, and then a boss and then some end box items so we'll get to all that stuff later and before you ask the Kranidos that you saw back there those aren't recruitable either any of the pre-evolutions here are not recruitable there are only two pokemon that you are able to recruit in here and i will get to where they are when we get to the part they're in yeah it is a bit laggy right now by the looks of it but We'll try and persevere through this. Okay, let's get you. Are you searching? Yes, sir. Okay, let's run. Yeah, but it looks like we're not doing half bad so far. We are going to just try and skip the stairs as much as possible here. And I will mention right now, even though you see Golurks, they... Golit is not anywhere in here. I'll just mention that right now, because I know it'll deserve a mention at one point, so. Yeah. Um, other than that, really the beginning floors are just kind of a spot you really want to rush. Because it's the later floors that's going to have a bunch more things to talk about. But yeah, if you want the eggs, the eggs honestly aren't half bad Pokemon either. I mean, Aaron isn't a bad Pokemon at all. Um, what else am I thinking? The Nidorans aren't bad. Bronzor isn't bad. Mawile's not bad either. Like I said, you have a really nice choice of eggs here. And it's going to actually get even nicer later on. With the, um, Like I said, there is a minor change, so there will be one difference, of course. But uh, we'll get to it once we get to the higher floors. Now, if you see with the Pokemon, the money in here is not exactly a very great thing, so I would just, if anything, almost ignore the poke in here, because you're not going to find any poke higher than 100 or so. But yeah, let's just eat an apple, and then let's keep Ron running. Oh, and we missed a Reviver Seed. But, um, yeah, the Club Nine's somewhat recommended but almost not really because as you see the fog is also in here or at least i should say cloudy weather foggy weather really helps in terms of um 
what was I going to say? Foggy weather really helps in the fact that, um, ye or cloudy weather, excuse me, I keep saying foggy, but, yeah, cloudy is nice because it lowers the power of basically all moves except normal types, and it's helpful just due to the fact that, you know, Pokemon aren't going to be dealing as much damage to you. And we are going to use a max ether here. Now, I was talking about the whole gummy system last time, and I didn't actually eat this one. But yeah, there is one side effect that I didn't mention. You can get lucky, and you will get a warp to the stairs right away. I was hoping that was going to be the one we got, and sweet. That's probably one of the most useful ones, next to... Of course, revealing hidden items and that kind of thing, because it can also reveal, like, heart scales in the walls, if you get lucky enough. But, yeah, we are just going to keep on running here. And for the EXP in here, it's not half bad again, but I really wouldn't recommend using this as a training place. It's more so a place to find a couple specific recruits, and wow, that really shrecked us. The range of it, too, is what got us. And we got hit here. Um, we are going to get over here. Rest real quick. Wake back up, and let's keep on running. Uh, I need to be careful, because it's almost star, and that's what wrecked us. Uh, let's walk over here. Cranidos, and Laron, cool. Yeah, this place I would recommend being probably in your f upper 50s to low 60s for. And we got another egg, but we got a sandstorm going on. Oh, come on, don't lag us now. And we're dead probably. Yep, the lag can be a real pain in the butt sometimes. And, of course, we die again because lag says a move got off way too slowly. And we almost died there. So, yeah, this is not giving us an easy time. Um, how many revivers items do I have? I have two left right now. I have plenty more than enough escape ropes on me if I need, if need be. But I would like to try and clear this. Anyways, after we hit 20F, we reach the deserted passage. Dot, dot, dot. What? Who are you? How dare you tread these halls of our master's sacred home? My master would never allow impudent pests like you to come here. I live to serve and protect my master. Anyone that opposes it will be defeated and expelled, and it most certainly includes you, heathen. Come out, my minions! And he grabs two Bronzong. On God! So, the mini-boss of Aegis Slash and Bronzong! Um, so the Bronzong are going to either drop one to two tiny mushroom or a big mushroom, like that, and, or nothing by the looks of it. And then Aegis Slash has a chance of dropping TM Gyro Ball, one to three tiny mushroom or a big mushroom. So let's see if we can perfect sneak a little kill. Ah, impossible. How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? This wasn't supposed to happen. I better go alert master then, dot, dot, dot. Though you've won this run, Trigger, my master won't be as forgiving as I. Alright, and one tiny mushroom, and let's head on. So this is the map that I was talking about that um, you have to go and, you know, continue. It doesn't matter what type of stairs you hit. As long as you hit one, let's go on to the deep part, and finally get talking about some of the stuff I wanted to. Right off the bat, in Mystery Eggs, one thing that will change is, in this part, Ponyard is a possible Pokemon in the eggs. That's all that's really added for eggs, though. In terms of stuff, in 21 through 44, which is the rest of this part, there will be the following things. Carablast at dawn and day, and then Hone Edge at our time, which we're in right now, dusk and night, which we are in nighttime, so we can find Hone Edge. As well as 21 through 43F, there are secret rooms. These secret rooms actually have a bunch of different items that include all of these. You can get TM Steel Wing, TM Flash Cannon, TM Bulldoze, Relic Silver, Relic Gold, Relic Copper, Max Revive, Metal Coat, Revive, TM Stone Edge, 
and TM Rock Polish. So yeah, there's a bunch of really decent items you can get from these. And, ooh, we got another gummy, so let's try it out on this next floor. And if we can run away from Chapman's... Oh, no. Um, let's do this. And then Dark Pulse instead, because we can get flinches. Good. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think the stairs might have been up in that one room, so we may act... Yeah, we are going to have to... Heat wave or find a way to carefully move because, yeah, we don't have an easy way. But it looks like heat wave is doing enough justice for us. And our moves, let's do that. We're just going to run right for the stairs. I don't care if I missed a hone edge in that um, little spawn. But I really would rather just prefer to get through this place and, you know, show you guys everything. And another one of the uh, side effects of gummies is, as you see right here, a little speed boost to you. We got Sandstorm, we'll just run to the stairs. This guy became cloudy. If I do see a Hone Edge, I will probably just drop off my um, Golduck for it. Because I do want to try and maybe see if I can get Hone Edge. Because actually, as of recently, Hone Edge's ability... Um, stance change it actually does work now so yeah it wasn't working before but it is working now so if you want to use one you are open to use it so yeah um right on the ground here what do we got we got a gyro ball not the greatest but hey tms are tms and you, sometimes you'll see these little chambers they don't really have much to them but if you see one they're pretty cool looking Anyways, let's move on. We are on 30F now. And yeah, things will hit hard in here. That's why I recommend being in your, like, upper 60s and whatnot. Let's see. We are going to do the smart thing. We are going to heat wave here. Get rid of the Bis Sharp. And then we can flamethrower to get rid of the Needle Queen. Nice. Yeah, the, if you see the EXP, stuff is giving upwards of, like, 900 in here, which is really nice. Just trying to make sure it's as clear as possible. Yeah, Excadrill is also in here, so... Careful of those, because those will deal a lot of damage. Oh, and there's a Hone Edge! Alright, let's see if we can get it. We are going to... Unfortunately, all we have right now for recruit items is a Soothe Bell. So, let's... Um, I'm just going to fix my point right now. My, uh, please don't have Hone Edge be across here. Okay, it wasn't. Um, let's see if we can. We got it! We got Hone Edge! Awesome! I was really hoping we'd get it too in first try. That really just put me in a good mood to complete this place now. Um, let's. Ooh, we got the cringe. Let's run away from here. Oh boy. Okay, we lived. That's a good thing. Okay. But yep, there is our Hone Edge. And Hone Edge being a ghost type and everything, if I can get up to a nice and strong Aegislash, that would be amazing, and I might consider using it. Alright, but anyways. Let's continue on and try to get to the end of this place. Now, of course, I don't want to spoil what the boss is just yet, but... It's a nice one, and... All I'll say about... It, ooh, an egg. Let's try and see if we can get a Ponyard, too. Ponyard would be another cool Pokemon for me to use. But, um, the boss, I will say, I hope you're prepared because it is, I will mention, it is another legendary. Yep, so, of course, as I said in the last episode, now that, um, Heart Slates have been released, which is basically a drop from legendary bosses, and you can summon them at legendaries and dungeons. This one will, of course, have that chance of being a, of dropping its heart slate. And this is personally one of my favorite uh, legendaries. Not like top, top favorite, but it w it's definitely a considerable one. So I'm really hoping we can get the slate, because I actually have not, um, whatchamacallit, I have not actually 
gotten a slate drop from this uh, legendary yet. And we got another reviver seed to make up for the missed one earlier, so that's nice. But yeah, hopefully we can get the slate drop from this legendary because I would personally love to use this legendary on my main account. But we'll see. Alright, so coming over here, it looks like we got a couple Bisharps. Let's get rid of them. But yeah, um, to mention something now, I plan on doing the new place in Tanren for my next set of videos coming up. It may take a little bit to get them released because I do want to try and get as much information as I can before I go over these, but I've made some good progress today, so hopefully that should end up coming in a little bit well. Um, I'll kill these because I really don't want to die. And we got another gyro ball. Oh well. And where are we? Oh, we're down here. Almost didn't see myself because of the uh, chat log. Alright, we're gonna heal up. Are the stairs up here? Don't know yet. Okay, that works. That was some. Uh, Oh, I guess I lied. I guess in the deeper part it is true. We can find some higher amounts of poke. Um, let's kill off you. Another Dow Blade. Um, let's see. Metagross, no. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a little bit of an interesting method, which is you switch to like a flying or a... Um, flying ghost or water tape Pokemon on the water, and then you just... Switch to that Pokemon, walk on the water, switch over to something that can't walk on water, and then you press F and you get a warp. You see, it kind of helped us because we got over to the stairs a little bit easier. Of course, this one's just a run into the stairs because you don't want any sort of thing. Um, yeah, so we'll keep continuing on here. Let's see. Um, I just gotta be careful because it looks like there's a bunch of stuff down there. We'll run around this way. Try and get rid of some of this stuff. How does it say I'm all the way over there? Wow. Yeah, this lag seems to be a little getting a little serious now, but we will. We will prevail. We're almost there. Hundum's doing a very nice job for us right now. Okay, we'll run around here. Yeah, it's definitely kind of laggy because that rock blast came off way late. And the stairs are right down here, so let's go and hit them. As well as that water pulse. That water pulse was really late. But we're almost there. Let's keep on trucking through. I'll pick up these for later. Um, I'll head up this way. I'm actually going to use that regular ether now. Let's get a bit of PP back. Maybe we'll, oh, of course I cringe. Oh, thank you for healing me with Sacred Sword, though. That was nice. Let's heat wave this stuff. And we will cut you off with a flamethrower. Yeah, the EXP, it's definitely... Like I said, it's decent and it's not bad, but I really would recommend this place mostly as a kind of just run through to see if we can get recruits. That's the main reason most people use it, is just to get Hone Edge and Carablast, which, of course, you need Carablast and Shelmet both in order to get S Cavalier and, um, whatchamacallit, to get S Cavalier and uh, Excelgor. But, unfortunately, Shelmet is, I'll mention now, in a completely other region. So, we can't actually get it at our current time. But, I'll make sure to mention where it is once we get to the dungeon that has it. Now, this is looking a little bad. So, what I'm going to do is get out of view of the rest of the Pokemon. We're going to warp. And we got to the other side. Nice. Um, I need an apple, so let's... Have that ether, and then take a big apple, rust up really quick, 
and we'll continue on because we are almost done. We just need to go through a couple more floors. Um, by the looks of it, oh yeah, it did help me. Let's run through it. It was right below our spawn, but we would have been in serious trouble because of all the Pokemon that were there. But, uh, yeah. So this place, I would say, isn't really a half-bad dungeon. I like it, but it can be tricky at times, so make sure you are prepared. I would recommend maybe having one or two AoEs if possible, but if you don't, you don't. Alright, so we're almost through. I say let's kill this escalator because I know we can at least two-shot it even in cloudy weather. Um, yeah, so 44, this is the last floor. Um, we are going to, oh boy, we are going to die. That's what it is. Oh boy. I have to run away. I'm going to run to the stairs. Alright, we're going to have to switch right at the boss quickly. Because this, this might not be a good sign. Alright. Dot, dot, dot. Intruders. Registeel is our boss. Intruder detected. I am Registeel, a life form born far under the ground. But I have resided in this tomb for many centuries. You had no reason to come down or come here and invade my domain. Dot, dot, dot. You are an intruder in my land. All trespassers must be exterminated. And here we are, the fight with Registeel. Now, of course... Registeel will have the chance of dropping his slate, but he also has a chance of dropping TM Flash Cannon and two to three tiny mushrooms. I also forgot to mention with the heart slates, they are a droppable item, so you can sell them if you really wanted to. We are just going to keep killing Registeel because it looks like we're getting the nice cringes and the damage in. We're almost there. And we got the tiny mushroom drop, which is perfectly fine. Da -da. You are strong, indeed. I see why my guards and even I were bested. However, this is still my home. Do not go treading into it like you own it. Leave now, intruder, before my patience is lost. So yeah, unfortunately we didn't get the drop, but of course it's nice. Now, we come to a place called it the Deserted Egress. And there are some end boxes for us. In these end boxes, they include the following items. TM Steel Wing, TM Flash Can, TM Bulldoze, Relic Silver, Gold, Copper, Max Revive, Metal Coat, Revive, TM Stone Edge, and Rock Polish. So yeah, it's pretty much the same items as the Seagrams, except the one added item to these end boxes are a Relic Vase, which sells for a little bit of gold. Or money, rather. I just said gold. Wow. But yep, here is our brand new Hone Edge. I'm really happy that we got this. But let's go and open up our boxes and see what we get out of them. Of course, we'll just do this for good measure. But we should have enough money on us where if we open up our boxes, we get a Relic Gold and we got the Relic Vase, actually. So I'll show this off really quick before we end the video. So Relic Vase, if we check its summary, of course, it sells for 15,000 poke. That's really nice. It'll help us for... Uh, Buying supplies and what, and other things that we might need, like more reviver seeds and stuff like that. Now that that is over, though, I do plan next on doing the new content that was added to PMU as of recently called Tandrin Undercity. That is my next plan for being um, the stuff I record. Like I said, it may take a few days just because I need to make sure I know as much information as I can before I end up recording everything. Now, um, I don't know when they'll come, and yeah, because I may try and, you know, train Hone Edge a little bit to maybe see if I can use that a little bit, but yeah. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching, and in the next part, we will cover Tanren Undercity. See you guys. Okay. So, I've just decided to add a little bit of recording because, wouldn't you know, the only egg we got from the second part actually ended up being a Ponyard. The luck that that run was. That was amazing. And I guess real quick while I'm at it, just to end off the video, we hatch and we got a Mawile actually as well. But that was really nice, getting 
the Ponyard, which is not an easy Pokemon to get from the eggs. I mean, the deep eggs, it took me, I think, on my main character, Zappy, at least, like, six or seven eggs before I finally got one. But, yeah. I wanted to add in that part just to show that I got the Ponyard from the egg, which was really great. But, yeah, again, in the next part, we are going to cover Tanner and Undercity, so I will see you guys then.